In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite tools to find winning keywords for Amazon KDP. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ken, and I'm giving away the secrets to Amazon KDP. So if you don't want to miss out, make sure to subscribe. You know the drill. Let's waste no time. Let's get right into this. So this is one of my favorite tools to find winning keywords on Amazon. So this is the BookBeam Niche Finder. So I think this tool is absolutely genius because we can just basically plug in the parameters of a good keyword and make a search, and it's going to find books that fall under those parameters. So if you watch my keyword research video, you'll know that I have a very specific keyword research method that I use to find winning keywords. And if keywords aren't validated properly, you could be wasting a lot of time and a lot of money. So this tool allows me to put in those parameters that I use, find these keywords, and then go and validate them a second time to make sure they're the right ones. But it basically just streamlines the process and helps me find those winning keywords without having to scroll through Amazon for too long. So it's basically a sped up process of my keyword research process. So this is the tool here. It's just on the BookBeam web app. It's under Niche Finder. And then you're gonna go down and fill out these parameters click find books, it's gonna find you books under those parameters. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I put in to find the winning books. So the first thing we wanna do is go under preset and this is just gonna ask you what type of books do you want? Do you want best selling books? Do you want new books? Do you want new best selling books? It also gives you subcategories like coloring books, word search books, planners. So if you're doing low content, you can specifically just target coloring books under these winning parameters. So it's extremely effective for finding low content book topics. So you have the option to put the keywords in, but in this case, when we're looking for keywords, we don't have any yet. So we're we're just going to leave it blank. And then in our publisher, we're going to click self published. So now we're going to go down to the parameters of the book itself. So for best sellers rank, I usually do 50,000. I don't want to BSR over 50,000. That book's not going to be selling super well. And to make good money on Amazon KDP, you absolutely want a 50,000 BSR or less. The sweet spot's around 20, but anything under 50,000 is a book that does make some good money. So this is an important part here, the number of reviews. So we don't want to just put in max. We want to put in a low number of reviews because that's going to determine if the keyword is winning or not. One of the most important factors is understanding that if books have two or 300 reviews, you're not gonna be able to compete. But if we can find books in keywords and those books have 10, 15 reviews and still having this really good BSR, that's proving to us that, oh, we can go and compete in this niche without needing a bunch of reviews. So I'm gonna go max 20. You can do whatever you want. Maybe low content, you want it to be a bit less because it's a bit harder, but 20 reviews or less, even only with five reviews, you can absolutely compete with a book with 20 reviews. So let's go 20. Price, I'm gonna leave blank. Sales per day and rating I can leave blank and then age I'm going to go let's go four months so this is going to be a new book that has limited reviews but that's selling well and that's basically proving that oh that's a good keyword because if we make a book that's new that has low reviews there's no reason why we can't make sales either so when once you fill those out you essentially just click find books it does have a limited amount of searches per month so just keep that in mind when you're doing it but now we just scroll down and now it's going to show us a bunch of books that fall under this parameters and those parameters are less than 20 reviews and a BSR of less than 50,000 so right Right away we're starting to see some stuff here right here is super cute coloring so this is like super cute animals unicorns mermaids so what we can do is we can actually take this and go and put it into a spreadsheet so i'm going to go through these pages and find anything that's that speaks to me that jumps out as a good keyword and put it into the spreadsheet and then we can go and check them and see how they're doing so it's going to have a few pages here so let's go through the pages so here's one here 4,000 word word search this looks like a large word search so let's go and do a couple here let's go large word search and 4,000 word so here's another one here Mon Monster truck coloring books. I'll definitely be adding that one in. So here's another one here, adorable city coloring book. So this might be something worth just checking it on and see what it is. So mystical world coloring book. This looks like a good one here as well. So, so I don't really have to check these. I know that these books are doing well because of the parameters we put in. We put in less than 20 reviews and a BSR of less than 50,000. So I know that it's going to fall under a parameter of a book that's selling that we can compete with. So we're simply just going to find the ones that speak to us and then go record them. So summer activity book for kids. So although the summer's coming to an end, this is still a good example of something that's selling well with limited reviews. So here's an interesting one too. Life skills every 10 year old should know. So let's write that down. Life skills for kids for the specific keyword that he's probably targeting. So now that we have our spreadsheet, we have a few of these. You can go through as many searches as you want, refine it and really try to find the books that you're looking for. Maybe if you're doing high content, you focus on that. Or maybe if you're doing coloring books, you can actually narrow it down to coloring books with the preset. It also had one for activity book. So look as much as you can, try to get a list of like 50 or 100 keywords. This is just gonna give you a good baseline to start. And within those 50 keywords, you're definitely gonna find some, some winners. Of course, there's gonna be some outliers. Some of them might be books published by big brands and stuff like that, but that's why we write the list and then we go and check them. So here's one example. Here's the monster truck coloring book example. And as you can see, this is the book that we saw right there. So this has a 5,000 BSR. It's doing super well. It only has five reviews. It does seem like it's the most desirable book here. And there's also a few others that are selling well. So this is basically 
telling us that, yeah, this is definitely a keyword that if we come in, we make a good book in something that's actually high quality, that's desirable, the optimized product page, we absolutely can get some of this traffic and make lots of sales. And then it allows us to find some other keywords too, like truck coloring book or vehicles coloring book. So basically what we're just checking for here is just validating that yes, there are books here that are selling with minimal reviews. So why we check is we want to make sure that we're actually validating it properly because yeah, on paper, this technically was a good keyword, but now that we go and look at it, we're seeing that there's more to it. Like this one per se here, the mystical coloring book, these books aren't doing super well. This one happens to be from a larger brand. So maybe that's why it's selling so well with such lower reviews. But if you look at the other books here, there's some that just aren't selling as well, 1 million BSR, although there's still some potential. And if we make a more desirable book, it might do well. But in my opinion, because this niche doesn't have a lot of books in it, there's only really one that's selling under this keyword. I would probably steer clear and I'd go towards a keyword that has a bit more proof to it. So that's why we check. We get the list of 50 to 100. You're probably gonna slash that down to 10 or 20. And then you're probably gonna even narrow down even further to 10 solid keywords keywords. And then from there, whether it's high content books, mid content books, activity books, you're going to have a clear vision of some solid keywords that you can decide if you want to go into or not. So here's another one here, Kawaii coloring book. So let's go check this one out. So although this one has more saturation, it has about 40,000 search results, we're still seeing this pattern of books that are selling with a limited amount of reviews. And there's actually lots of sub topics in this cute Kawaii coloring, creepy Kawaii, sweet treats. There's all these different sub genres and it seems like they're all doing well. Of course, some of them have lots of reviews, but now you can go and search these individual ones and find the outliers that actually have a couple books that only have 10 reviews making sales. And that means if we publish in that too, then there's a high chance we're going to make sales as well. So if you're stuck on your keyword research, this is definitely an awesome tool to check out. It really just makes it so you can narrow it down to find the books that are performing well without just being lost looking through Amazon. So with this tool as well, this is how I see the BSR ranks right here. So it shows my BSR rank and the average royalty a day. It's the same tool, so it's all connected. So if you actually click on the book, you're going to see that this tool also has an option to check the BSR history. So I can see if this book has actually been selling over the last six months or if it's just been selling the last few days. So this way we can validate to see if it's actually a good book or if it's just having a few good days. So just a shorter video today, I just really wanted to show you guys my tool of choice and what I use that helps me with my self-publishing processes. I think the keyword research is one of the hardest things to do with Amazon and I know that a lot of people struggle with it. So these tools, although they cost a bit of money, they're definitely worth it in my opinion because it really just makes the process much easier and helps you kind of get a clear vision of what to look for. So it's worth checking out to see if it's right for you. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week.